And welcome to our quick walkthrough of <clears throat> using models in Django. Again, our we're working through the Ma developer Mozilla Developer Network um, tutorial. So we're in this tutorial about using models. Now this is a this tutorial has a lot of useful information. So this is designing the local library models. This is something you should read carefully and understand. Hopefully you've had some data model design before or watch some information about data model design. But uh, so we have sort of uh, <clears throat> authors and books and genres and which the language and books and how they're checked out. So just read all this. This talks about about how we define these models, take from that diagram and turn the models into Django models, how we add fields to those models, how we add um, foreign keys, logical keys, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And so just I'm, I'm going through this fast. Um, just I want you to read all that. And what I'm going to do is jump down to this defining local library models because this is sort of the work that you've got to do. So once you understand all that through whatever way you understand it, we're going to go ahead to our Python Anywhere account and start a new bash console. And then we're going to say work on Django 2, pick our virtual environment. Then we're going to go CD uh, Django projects. I say DJ tab there. And then local library is the project. And if we take a look, we've got the catalog. Local library is the conf configuration. We've been editing these files all along. And so here we are. Um, if you recall, we've run the SQL like command in previous that we can see what's in here. We're going to be adding some new tables. So we're going to edit the file catalog models.py. I'll use nano to edit that. And it has something in there. It's exactly as predicted here. And then we're going to add, I'm just going to add one of the models. There's uh, several that we've got to add, but for now I'm just going to paste that one in and control X, Y, enter. And so now if I do a get status, you can see that I made one small change. Okay, so once we've made this change, this whole concept of make migrations, all make migrations does, it looks at all the models.py file, and there's some in there already for the administration, which we're going to see in the next assignment. Um, this looks at the models. Now this one's going to detect changes. So, oh, where are there some, there's some, there's a new model in that file. So we have to create what's called a migration. A migration is a script that basically creates new tables or updates tables, etc. So we're going to run the make migrations and then we're going to actually do the migrations. So, so these are separate. So the migrations would get, if we were running in production, you might check the migration into GitHub and then run make migrate both locally and on uh, your production server. So we'll just do the migrate right away. And the migrate is what is actually creating the new table. And we could, we already did a kind of a git status. We can see that we got two new files. We'll deal with those in a second. Okay. But now we're going to run this command right here, SQLite 3. Um, and we're going to read that database file. So if we look, take a look at the files, it's this file. So that is how we do it. So we're going to SQLite command line browser. You can see how to use this. But dot, dot, dot tables, um, we see this new one. So if you looked at it before, you saw all these things. But now, because we've added this new model file, we have this catalog.genre. So schema tells us what the shape, copy, paste. So this tells us a <clears throat> SQL create table that would be necessary to create this. We have um, a primary key named ID and then a, um, a name field. So that's a pretty simple table. And if we take a look at the, the migration, that's what we had. We had this name, which was basically some text, okay? And, um, and the ID is automatically generated. It's the primary key that's automatically generated. So that's, that's the way we go. So, um, yeah, so you can either hit Control D or dot quit. I'll hit Control D here. So here we are. Um, and, and so now we can edit this again. This time I'll use VI. K. 
catalog models.py. Again, learn to use that tab. Go to the end with a zero G, zero capital G. And now I'm just gonna kind of blast these things in here. Copy these guys. It'd be good, it'd be better for you to understand this. So one of the one of the problems that people have, I think, open to open a new line, is um, People are so much in a hurry to get through these tutorials, and of course I'm blasting through them too, um, that you just type this and you just put it back in without understanding it. And that just means that you're going to have to come back and you're going to have to actually learn this when it comes time to writing an application that you're doing yourself. And then the author model. So look at these for a little bit of time. I'm just showing you how to do it here so you're not wasting too much time watching me on the video. Escape colon WQ to save it. If I do a get diff, this is the more prompt here, this little colon. So I've got a genre model, a book model, a book instance model, and an author model. So those are the actually um, an author model. And then Q gets me out of that. Um, these are basically the models that represent, in a sense, everything except the language. Okay, and so you've got to actually add the language here, and it's kind of telling you where you're supposed to hook the language up, what kind of a thing. So you, in this challenge, you've got to add the language. Okay, so there's a challenge down here. Figure out where to hook it up. Read all these models and then add a language model and get that right as well. Connect it to the right place. Again, there's a bunch of stuff that you got to read that's unfortunate. So see this thing about language model? You got to do this too. I'm not going to do it in this, in this video. So now that we've got these things done, we're going to run the make migrations again. So it's going to have two migrations when we're done. I could have done all the edits and done one migration, but I just wanted to show you and then I want to do the migrate to actually create the tables. Okay. And so <clears throat> if I do an SQLite, and I look at dot tables, you see now I got a lot more. I've got like uh, this genre was there before, but now I've got like catalog author. And I can say dot schema. Catalog author. And we see the primary key, the first name, the last name, date of birth, date of death. And that, of course, is taken straight from these things right here. So this is called an object relational mapper, which takes this object, author object, and then turns it into a set of tables in a database and does joins automatically. We'll, we'll get to all that eventually. So dot quit or control D uh, gets us out of that. So we've seen that. And, uh, and at that point, we're all done. We've got our models, we've got our model created. Um, if we are doing this in um, GitHub, oops, where I just go? Where am I? Local library, PWD, local library. There I am. So if I do a git status here, so you can see all the things that have been added in my local library. Um, and then I'm going to just say git add catalog migration star because all these added files aren't there yet. So that's okay. PyCache is something you'd never want to add. It just ended up in that star, so it's okay. Git status. So these are the added files and the catalog files. And then we're going to commit that and push it into our git repo. Okay, so now I typed in my password and so it's all set up. And uh, just for our own sanity, we're gonna give ourselves another tag in our GitHub repo just so we can keep track of the fact that, because you might have made a couple of commits. We really only made one commit, I did because I knew what I was doing. And then we'll upload the tags to GitHub. And so if I look at uh, GitHub, 
CSAV, Django projects. See, we got five commits. That one we just did in two releases, the skeleton release and the models release. And so that pretty much uh, finishes things up for the, oh, let me just show you one more thing. Um, I'm going to hit Control D to end this, or exit will do it, but I hit Control D, and that closed the console. Uh, you may need to uh, download and turn in as a part of your assignment um, the, uh, the, the SQLite file. So you go into Django Projects, um, Local Library, and DBSQLite, and then you download it right here. So it downloads that file. And then it, you end up with this file locally uh, on your hard drive. And so if you have a command line on your computer or the SQL browser on the computer, you can look at this uh, and you may have to turn it in as part of your assignment. So that's how you download the file if you need to do that. Okay, so uh, thanks for listening and uh, to our little uh, discussion of Django models.